Happy evening. Welcome to Edu Skills OED Made Easy. Our mission is to make you fall in love with OED. This is a free platform and skim the four text and highlight the clues. The first business is to skim means jump. Just go over skim the four text, highlight the clues means you have to highlight these clues. You have to underline or highlight the title, the section headings, the subheadings, the names, the number or percentage, sequential expressions, time expressions, scale, adjectives, and negative expressions. The major ones I have highlighted here. These are the things as you skim through, you have to look for the title, you know, paracetamol overdose, then section headings. As I said, four texts have four headings, subheadings, those things you have to identify, then subheadings. Under text A, there are subheadings. Under every text, there will be subheadings. You underline those things. Then if there are some names of the medicine or some organ or some instrument or some test or some therapy, some virus, some medication, identify the names. Then number or percentage. Identify or highlight the number or percentage. Then go into the sequential expression. Then time expressions. Then scale, adjectives negative expressions. For your skimming purpose, this will be the major things that you have to look into. I have taken a very familiar text because we need a familiar text to do the analysis. Otherwise, you may not understand the meaning and the connotations. Text A. As we read through, just try to, if you have a text in your hand, try to underline and identify these clues, okay? What you have to do? I have given the clues on the side. Underline it's those things. For example, title is paracetamol overdose section heading is paracetamol contraindications and interactions subheading is special warnings and precautions for use again you have down interaction with other medical products and other forms of interaction unmute and tell me what did you find i will highlight Maybe heading you know there is title paracetamol title paracetamol overdose yes then section heading there is subheadings this is section paracetamol contradictions and interactions is section headings okay second section. one and this one special warning subheadings long term subheading these two are subheadings what is long term this? Uh, time expression time expression three months then as you go on you have time of your condition this is a date is there then you have abbreviation Abbreviation. So what I am telling, this must be the answers. Number of drugs. Numbers. One of these must be the answer. There are many numbers. All need not be the answer. But one of these must be the answer, which will be understood from the question statement. Which one of these? Then what else you have? You have names of? Medications. Medicine. Yeah, here you see the... Um, interaction with other medical products so medical products are important so here you have pro medical products one two all these are medical products one of these will be the answer and you can see now we have done with this one uh, skimming the text now you see here title right here section heading then you have subheading then you have again subheading these are very important Answers are connected with that. It says there are four questions from this text A out of 20. Number five says the number of products containing paracetamol. So answer should be? Number. Number. Yeah. So you have to look only for number. number. Nothing else can be the answer. Question number eight. If paracetamol is used as a long-term painkiller, you have the time expression. What symptom may get worse? So time expression leads to the answer. Yeah, a symptom, definitely a symptom is going to be the answer, right? Yes, so you have to look for symptom. And ninth one, it may be dangerous to administer paracetamol to a patient with which viral condition. So which viral condition? Something about viral condition. Name of your viral condition will be the answer. Yes, so you have to look for only viral condition. Here again, have this name of the medication. So if a patient has taken metoclopramide alongside paracetamol, this may affect dash the of paracetamol. Okay, you see, MOH is there, abbreviation, headache is there, headache again, it is here, headache is here, repeated. So, long term, the sequence time expression is a clue. Then you have interaction with other medicinal products, and you have these medicinal products' names, then the numbers. One of these names will be connected to the answer. 
one of these numbers will be connected to the answer. I'm just trying to convince you how the clues work. Now you see here, time expression, three months. Okay. Again, long term is the sequential expression. MOH is abbreviations automatically. They are equivalent to names. And you sequential expression, the other. Other contraindications are shock and acute inflammation of liver due to hepatitis C virus. As we said, one virus condition related to virus should be the answer. So other, what is other? The sequential expression tells you here is the answer. And see name of a condition or virus, viral condition. Name of a medical product, medication. And you see number. These are the answers. So you have the clues here, title, section, subhead section, name, number, sequential expression, time expressions as an assistance. Again, check abbreviation, time expression, and the symptom, headache, and name of a virus, condition, or viral condition, hepatitis C. And you have name of a medicine, number, then you have sequential expression, the other. Read the question statements, highlight the hedging words. Read the question statements. What is the hedging word? Number. Yeah. Number of products is the phrase. Number is the hedging word. Now, what is the hedging word? Long-term Long pain killer. And also, what symptom? Time expression. Those leading to clues. What symptom is going to be the answer? Viral condition? Name. Again, asking for a name of a condition. And now you have again here name Eight. of a medicine. Got it? Hope you got an idea. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. I have taken only one. Mm -hmm. I want to teach you patient. Thank you very yes. much for such a nice clarification. Uh, uh, sir from Pakistan, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, actually, yes. I would like to really, I'm very thankful to you for, for your platform. And since I have seen your video, I don't know, accidentally I got your channel. Uh, but I'm really blessed by your channel and now I can see the improvement in my reading and I uh, already had uh, your assessment form also. Thank you so much. You're Thank welcome. you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Bye-bye. Yes, welcome. Thank you, Father. Thank you yes. so much, Father. God bless you. Bye.